Welcome to my Aruba's 2024 trip. And we're gonna let you know, is it still worth it to travel to Aruba in 2024? bedroom has a pool or whatever so if y'all thinking about either staying at a resort or y'all want to get like an airbnb or whatnot y'all should consider these factors so you know with the airbnb you're gonna get your own space with your own cooking stuff own fridge and it's just y'all you know more private and whatnot but let's go ahead and get you what we got nice little view today ah has like a little private driveway. And then this is our rental car from earlier before. So, you know, we're gonna get it. This is the pool area right here. Pretty nice little spot. <coughs> As you can see, they got like a little bar lounge area over here. really no no view though and today we plan on going to Flamingo Island so the process there you have to take a ride over there to a hotel and catch the bus I mean catch a boat that's going to transport you to the island so tune in for that we're gonna let you know if it's worth going there for two people, it was about $300, so we're back inside. A lot of people don't know this, but there's two ways to get to the island. One way is by booking a massage or buying a day pass, but the day pass do sell out pretty fast and you can only buy it a week in advance. So it can kind of stress you out because you can only buy it on one day on a Saturday at 9 a.m. And so we didn't want to do all that. So we went ahead and booked a island spa, which was only about $50 more than the original day pass. So I think it was like a no brainer. Cause, and then also you get a massage, you know what I mean? So we contacted them early through email. We asked them what times they had available and we did like a little, you know, uh, deposit or whatnot. And they had us booked and we were for sure able to go on the island at a certain time. And so it was an amazing feeling not having to worry about it. So if you do want to do that, I do recommend it because it and also it includes food and one drink if you do choose to add that on. And it's really not that much of a difference to to from the day pass to the massage. So in order for you to find this area is through a Renaissance hotel and you can find a massage upstairs the escalator that you can see in, in the beginning of this video. Once you get your ticket or whatnot, you head down to more of like the middle of this hotel and you will see the boats waiting on people. They come about every 15 to 30 minutes, but I think honestly it was like every 30 minutes. But be sure to get on the boat that comes early because if you don't come early, the island does tend to get pretty packed really, really fast. So if you want to get some of those great shots with you and the Flamingo, wake up early, get the first boat, to the island 
and then go ahead and buy you some food and you will see in the video is it's, it's just amazing feeling to to get to the island and have the island to yourself and not having everybody around to take photos of the flamingo so tune in to the rest of this video we're going to show you more of what you can expect in flamingo island <laughs> No, 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 We plan on exploring the whole island today, so we're gonna see how that's gonna go. They got bars, jet skis, you know, water boating. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. As you can see in this, in this spot, this area is called Palm Beach. This is pretty much the hub of the nightlife in Aruba for like all the tourist people. So if you're looking for like a hip hop club, I definitely recommend going to South Beach Aruba. It was a vibe. It was all like hip hop. They were playing hip hop all night. They definitely got like the Latino clubs like this one right here. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but they were playing reggaeton music all night, which was a vibe. Honestly, these two clubs are right next to each other, the South Beach and this one. So either or just jump back and forth. Both of them was a vibe. I'm talking about everybody was turning up and dancing. Now, this is like on a weekend, maybe like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know how it is during the week, but on a weekend it is definitely jumping. But appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching. Our next trip is going to be in Peru. We already did that. So we got a video coming out coming soon so we'll show you everything that we did so subscribe please leave a like in this channel and we'll try to get more videos behind the scenes and of our trips so tune in till next time